My name is Ruth Obi. I'm the MD CEO of 3Invest Limited, a real estate acquisition and investment company. I grew up in the East with my parents. I schooled at Imo State University and um, I studied law. I was called to buy in 2003. Afterwards, I was working at Ajumogobi and OKK where I practiced law. I went to the UK to do the lawyer's transfer test so I can be able to practice in the UK. At the time, I actually really wanted to live abroad. Then after a while, I, I had to do an intern with, um, with an acquisition firm a real estate conveyancing company. And after that, I worked with a property law firm and I picked a passion for real estate and I set up the invest. I had two partners and we, we, uh, we set it up in the UK for like a year. Then I came back to Nigeria to do the same thing all by myself. So my inspiration actually came from trying to be independent and an entrepreneur. And I just chose to be a real estate person. 3Invest um, is actually started out as just a property consulting company where you you know we could sell just property marketing for both like we could help buyers and sell for sellers as well developers um, after three years three invest started doing acquisitions only so that means we we're acting for buyers and maybe people who want to invest in real estate especially in lagos we were actually like focused in lagos um, on requests we can do outside Lagos. And it, it was at a, at a time, I think in 2009, the, that was the downturn, the economic downturn, when you now notice that people would rather want to just go directly to the developer to buy a property instead of using the middleman. So we thought to ourselves, what are we going to do different to still be in the industry? Because I mean, if you look around, there are loads of agents around the place. Um, so we thought through, I went back to EDC, Pan-African University, a part of um, Lagos Business School and I trained for like, that was six, seven months. I got my certificate and I got back to work and I was like, okay, cool. I learned how to do business, whether good or bad time, so the only thing to just do is strategize and see how you can do things differently. And um, in, we went through into 2010 and the economy wasn't getting better. So I thought, okay, what are we going to do different to still be in the business? We thought about rebranding and now starting our advocacy platform. So that's when we started blogging. At first, we started, we started blogging through investblogspot.com. So we could just go around sourcing for real estate information and put it out there to people. Then um, through Invest Intelligence, which actually the, the media and the advocacy platform of 3Invest, um, has a plan to, you know, be in different media platforms, but just carrying the flag for real estate and trying to put real estate out there. A year into the blog, we started Real Estate On Air, which is the first syndicated real estate radio show in Nigeria. We, our flagship station was on Classic FM, then later we syndicated with Beat. And with that, that's given us kind of exposure and, you know, a niche in the market. Real Estate On Air, it's, it's aimed to empower the average investor to make sound investment decisions by way of you know, being informed, awareness about what's happening and the right things to do in the market to just keep up you know, some kind of a flow. So we, we, we sort of um, became a source of information portal for most people in the industry. And um, also being me that we never get satisfied with keeping one thing, we thought about, okay, fine, since we started the blog, I went to, I had a meeting with a, with a client and I said to him, have you seen our blog? And they were like, the blog, they blocked the blogs from coming up on our site. I was like, wow, really, why? They were like, okay, like most of the social blogs, they don't let people in the office. I was like, okay, are you meaning that most of these people don't really see this information on our blog? I thought, okay, no, well, let's just build this portal. So I thought it was time for us to build an information portal. So it took us a little while, it took about three months to put up a team because it's an information thing that's current. So there has to be a team of at least minimum about three, four people running the blog, the, the, the information portal. That's the investonline.com. We launched that in December last year, 13th of December, 2011. We now stopped the blog and kept the website. So if you wanted to get the same information you are getting on the, on the blog, you will get it on the web, on the portal. It wasn't, it's not just a website, it's a portal. As a woman, as a woman, it's, it's, I don't consider it as a disadvantage, um, although we're in, the, in a country where it seems as though women don't really have much to say, but when you see with the recent um, administration, 
you can see the, the importance of women and I think recognizing that will show you that women are going places and I've been in a situation where we've done lots of survey and the response is actually women. So um, as a woman I don't consider that um, but there, there are obviously huge challenges that you know would actually where I would have been faster if I was a man. I couldn't get there being in a situation whereby most men want to always like you know look at you try to take advantage of the fact that you're a woman but I never let that happen. I believe I'm quite tenacious. I I believe I keep I have a very strong belief first of all before I do everything anything whatsoever I always have this strong belief that I would accomplish anything that I want to do. So what gets me by what gets me by is actually courage and strength and maybe wisdom through prayers. So I just feel that it's just having believed in yourself that you can achieve anything. First of all, Three Invest will be five in December 2012 this year. And um, part of our five year goal is to have achieved, um, to be an investment company, a real estate investment company. We, we want to focus as a commercial real estate company and uh, we're looking at um, selling going into retail real estate. Retail real estate is like going into shopping malls and the rest of it. So that's basically what our five to 10 years plan is. My advice to young people who are, inspired, who are aspiring to be a CEO is drop the CEO name because I think most people try to set up a company and be called a CEO. Being a CEO is not answering a CEO. There's so much sacrifice you have to put up because if you do what every, everybody's doing, there'll be times when you're not needed. So you have to put yourself wherever you have to always be needed in the industry. So that's, that would actually be, that you need so much courage and um, prayers to get by.